Once again, the University of North Carolina is preparing a response to an NCAA report detailing years of, quote, lack of institutional control. CBS North Carolina's Todd Gibson covering the academic scandal from the beginning, and he joins us now from Chapel Hill with more on today's report. Gibby. Basketball is free. Sharon, about an hour ago, a car drove past me here in Chapel Hill, yelled that out the window. That appears to be the case. Basketball, men's basketball and football, not even mentioned in the amended notice of allegations. And that is amazing. Don't you know that will drive the ABC crowd absolutely nuts? That's the anybody but Carolina crowd. Roy Williams has said all along that he did not think that North Carolina would be hit with any allegations. He is right, apparently. Larry Fedora, the head football coach, said the same thing. He did not think his football program would face any Percussions. That appears to be the case as well. But for the past couple of years, both have had to fight negative recruiting. Bubba Cunningham had a teleconference about two hours ago, and he addressed the negative recruiting and its effects on North Carolina. Here's what he had to say. Well, I do think that the, uh, the length of time that the investigation, both the internal investigations that we've conducted as a university, the external reviews um, and investigations that have been done have... Um, have been taxing and draining on the institution, have um, hurt us in recruiting in a, in a couple of different ways. That's big news for both the men's basketball program and the football program as well. Women's basketball, though, is appear, it appears as if they will get hit very, very hard. Steve Sprazia on campus today here at UNC, and he had to talk to uh, students and, I guess, faculty and all those people today, and he has a report on uh, what you found today. Well, Gibby, as you know, this investigation has had multiple twists and turns, and it's gone on for more than half a decade. And on campus, we found that some are frustrated with the length of that investigation. The latest notice of allegations restarts the clock in this investigation, a clock which had stopped last August when the school self-reported new violations to the NCAA. The school has had to live with that for the last five years, and one student who graduated back in 2014 says he'd love to see it all resolved started right before I came in in 2010 so I came in to school with already like the allegations and all these things happening so the fact that it, like was this long process that was here throughout the entire time that I was here and now still going just just frustrating because I just want to get it resolved and just like get it resolved this happened okay so that we can move on it started as an NCAA investigation into student agent dealings in the football program, resulting in the forfeiture of 15 scholarships, the removal of 16 wins from the record books, and cost UNC a bowl trip. Growing out of that, allegations surfaced that student athletes got improper help with papers and participated in classes which never met in the Department of African and Afro-American Studies. It was run by this man, Julius Nyangaro. He resigned as department chair and later retired. The school then hired former U.S. Department of Justice official Ken Weinstein to look into the matter. He found that for more than 18 years, there were 169 student athletes who benefited from classes which never met or were kept eligible through grade manipulation. The NCAA issued a notice of allegations, citing, among other things, lack of institutional controls by the school. UNC had 90 days to respond, but the clock stopped last summer when the school self-reported new violations involving improper assistance to women's basketball players and recruiting violations in the men's soccer program. Now, the school once again has 90 days in which to respond to the NCAA notice, and Bubba Cunningham said during the teleconference today that he believes the school will take the entire three months. And, Gibby, we've got to ask you, why do you think that is? Well, they got all this information to go over, but then again, the amendment uh, to the notice about allegations didn't bring out anything new, which is kind of surprising. I know there's a lot of Toyo fans who want this thing to be over with and over with now, so that kind of surprises me that it'll take the uh, full three months to, to look this stuff over, because I know Carolina fans, they want this thing to be over with and over with fast. And it's not going to be, because once the school responds, in their 90-day period, then the NCAA has 60 more days in which to reply. So it's going to be going on for some time. For my colleague Todd Gibson, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina. Much more online at CBS.